It's uh, Nicholas Markey, Beach Barbell Physical Therapy and Online Fitness Coaching. Today I'm going to go over the hamstrings, um, some ways to deal with hamstring issues, pain, tightness. So we'll go over some exercises and stretches you can give a shot to. So let's start with what the hamstrings are. So the hamstrings are the muscles in the back of your thigh. Okay, Their main role is bending the knee and also moving the leg back behind you. That also They also help bring your upper body back up. So you can see it's just kind of a similar motion just from a different angle. So they can help kick back the leg, but they also help bring the upper body back up. Okay? So hamstring strains are one of the most common injuries. Um, you can get it from a variety of things. You know, sprinters get it. Lots of athletes get it. Um, but, you know, everyone can <laughs> be susceptible to it. Um, one thing to ultimately help reduce your risk of that is training your hamstrings regularly via various exercises. So let's show you there. So you have various hip hinging exercises like we were just doing. So that can be like a good morning where you have the bar up here, you're sticking your butt back, you'll feel a good stretch in your hamstring, and then eventually you'll have to come back up. Same thing you can do more of like an RDL where you're maybe holding the bar down here, sticking that butt back. Again, you'll feel a good stretch in the hamstrings and eventually you won't be able to go any further and then you'll come back up. Another one I like to have people try is more of like a single leg deadlift. So hold on to something. I'm going to tilt and touch or go toward my toe. You're going to feel a good stretch in that hamstring on the leg that's down. And you can also hold a weight in your hand. I'd recommend maybe holding on to something so you're not turning it into a balance exercise in this sense, so you can really focus on the hamstring. Then there are various knee bending exercises. So you have the sitting ones where um, you put your legs up on the platform here, pull them down, got the weight in, all that. Got the one where you're, you're laying back and you're bending your knees up this way. You can also go in the cable column, attach the cable to your leg, bend the knee as well. And you can also do the straight leg kickbacks as well. So that would be the first thing, would be training your hamstring sufficiently. For most people, that could be around maybe six sets a week. So if you want to split that up, maybe you do at least six sets a week. So maybe you do at least three sets of something with the hip hinging movement, you know, RDLs, single leg, and then the other half, maybe the knee bending movements, whether you're doing that on the table, sitting, leg curl, or the prone where you're laying on your stomach, leg curl, okay? So if you have an injury, pain, whatever, tension to your hamstrings, you could always start with these exercises again, maybe with a lot lighter weight going really easy, not trying to necessarily uh, push the muscles too hard, just trying to get some good motion, get some blood flow, just focusing on the technique and range of motion. And then over time, slowly building up. But there are also a few stretches that a lot of people really end up liking. So let's go through that. So let me angle the camera over here. What I like to do is You'll find something a little bit higher, kind of a platform like this. You'll put your leg here. And instead of just bending forward right away, what you're actually going to do is you're going to stick your butt back. You see that? So I'm kind of starting the stretch from the hip portion of the hamstrings. And you're going to feel a nice stretch already starting there. From there, I can slowly lean forward as I'm pushing my butt back. And don't be afraid to kind of angle yourself in different ways to find a little bit more of the stretch in the spot you need. So if I kind of turn my butt a little bit as I'm pulling back, if I turn my shoulders in different directions to try to find a spot, kind of make it more of a, a dynamic stretch. If you're going to do that stretch, probably something like 30 to 60 seconds is a good place to start. Um, maybe three times a day, 30, 60 seconds, three times a day, split it up throughout the day. 
hit both sides, obviously, even if you have just one side that's bugging. Um, another one you can try is kind of more from the knee side of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my knee bent. I'm going to bring my, my knee up towards my chest. Okay. I'm going to hold my thigh here. Okay. And then I'm going to engage my quads as I'm kicking my leg up. So at a certain point, I'm going to start to feel a good stretch in that hamstring. My goal here is to really focus on engaging my quads. The reason why is when we really kick in the opposite muscles, so the quadriceps counteract the hamstrings, the body will help relax the other side, the hamstrings. And that's what we're going for with this stretch. Same thing, you can try slightly different angles. It's not as easy in this position, but you can kind of angle the leg in different and point the toes in different ways. So watch. If I kind of turn my toes in, I'll feel the stretch a little differently. If I turn my toes out, not as much there, so I'm going to go back there. And also I can kind of pull that thigh in a little bit more. My knee might bend a little bit, but that's okay as long as I'm feeling a good positive stretch. We're not trying to cause any pain with these, we're just trying to get feel a nice stretch. Okay. Good. So same thing, I would go for about 30 to 60 seconds, at least three times a day. Um, you could do it before your exercise, if you're going to work out your hamstrings, and then after, that's totally fine. Um, just make sure, if you do the stretch like that, do a little bit of um, gradual warm-up. So like, if you're going to do it, do the stretch, and then do some you know, light cardio or walking, you know, brisk walking, something to get the heart rate and the blood flow going after you do this kind of static hold stretch. Okay. Um, I think that'll be good here for the hamstrings. So let me know what you think. And if you have any questions and how these work for you. Thank you.